Hey, I'm working on a 4.6 liter Ford V8 cylinder head. Check out this factory finish. That's just wild. So this thing's in for a resurface, but it's not because of these uh, crappy machine marks. It's mainly because there's a couple spots right here. There's a couple little nicks, and then over here. Um, supposedly, the guy said uh, it was already like that when he pulled it off. Who knows? With that finish like that, anything goes in that factory. We've been getting a lot of factory finishes like this lately. My dad's in a couple videos on some LT heads and some Hemi heads. It's just crappy what uh, the production, you know, engine builders put out these days. You know, it does work, but that doesn't mean it's right. So I'm going to put this in my machine. First, this vacuum test it, make sure it's going to make compression, and then surface this thing up. I got my vacuum gauge. It's made by Sue. It pulls vacuum on each port and lets me know it's making uh, good vacuum, you know, good compression. Nice. Now for the intake. All right. Good. 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 So whoever machined the, the surface also did the valve covers. Look at the, the surface on that. And then same with the intake. Uh, you know, this isn't as critical as a head gasket surface, but it's just kind of funny. And then another thing, this cylinder head isn't power improved. See how this intake port's kind of almost circle shaped? Look at this. This is a power improved head. It's a lot bigger intake port. And then these early model uh, 4654 heads, they only have a couple spark plug threads. See how there's about maybe four or five threads? That causes big problems. So if you have a 5.4 or a 4.6 like this cylinder head, the real early ones only have a couple threads like I showed you there, and they have big problems. People changing spark plugs out and then maybe cross-threading it a little bit because it's real easy to do that when there's only a couple threads and your engine has you know, 180, 190,000 miles and it's you know, 15, 20 years old. Uh, it's real uh, prone for these cylinder heads to strip the threads out and even shoot the spark plugs out. <laughs> uh, they eventually changed that in the later years of production, and then they moved on from this engine and moved to that crappy three valve. So the 5446 actually made a really nice head in the later years, and then they went, just went super downhill <laughs> with that three valve. Um, so let's get this thing in the machine. I'll do uh, get it all set up for you, and then I'll be right back. Here we go for all you people that say it's not factory. I got a micrometer. It's supposed to be five inch, 310 to 12 thousandths. Looks like I'm about 13, so it's factory. All right, I got the head in my surfacer. It's nice and level. Let's bring it over to this side and do a light cut and see how bad it is. Here we go. Here's what it looks like after a thousandths. Dang, that surface looks pretty gnarly. I don't know why they let it uh, leave the factory like this. And then here's that one notch that I showed you initially. I have to get that out. And then uh, this guy right here. So I'm gonna have to take a, probably a couple thousandths for those to clean. All right, here we go. throw a little bit of slow motion in there. <laughs> All right, just got back to the other side. It still didn't clean right here and almost cleaned right there. So I cranked it down another thou and a half. So we're at 4,000 total once we're at this end. And then I'm going to do a half a uh, thou on the way back and that should do it. Man, that surface looks so much better than when it came in. Well, it only took 5,000s, but it's nice and flat, and most of all, it's smooth. 
Um, I don't know why we're getting all these bad finishes from the factory. Uh, it's just kind of funky. You know, I don't know who, who the inspector is, but more than a couple eyes have, you know, see these cylinder heads, I'm pretty sure, before it passes. You know, you got the person that machined it, probably an inspector maybe, and then the person that's assembling it. And uh, I don't see how they're pushing this stuff through. I think they're just hogging a lot of material out of the head very quick, um, getting to that, you know, recommended spec, and then they're doing just a light cut at low speed. And it's just not cleaning up entirely. Um, you know, it does work, but it's not right. You know, when you get an engine, uh, work, overwork an engine, you know, say get it hot or, you know, you get on it or something, it's just going to make the whole integrity of the engine uh, not as strong. You know, it's not going to be strong. It's it's going to fail, and it's going to fail in the points where the weakest part is. So if that surface isn't where it needs to be, it's going to fail in those little nicks and crannies and blow the gasket uh, where, you know, it wouldn't do that if it was machined properly. Um, I guess that's enough babbling for this one. It just it just sucks sometimes. You know, people spend all this time and money on a, a product, and then the internal, right, the heart and soul of the whole build is just you know compromised. Uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up this little four six uh, cylinder head surface video. Hope to see you guys again, and I'll see you in the next one.